at this point we're ready to put a program in the machine and look at the general functions of programming. I'm going to go, in, in order to work with programming, you need to be in edit mode. Furthermore, the memory needs to be unlocked in case for some reason, if you're trying to do something, sometimes nothing will happen. You can just look over here and see if it got knocked over the lock. So, in edit mode, I go to program. And you're going to pop up with one or two screens after you go to edit mode program. You're either going to come up with the program directory or the actual program that's sitting in the memory right now. Once we see the program on the screen and we're in edit mode, you can use your cursor key and you can look down at the program and see what it is. You can use the directory button, the directory soft key, to see what's inside of the, of the for programs. If we want to transfer a program in or out, we're going to use a card. The card's plugged in over here. Now with that card in place, if we push the right arrow key, it'll show us the soft key card. It'll actually show it without the card, but we won't be able to access anything. So we'll click on it. It shows us there's six programs in the card. Now it's sort of important to make a distinction here. There's file name. Now the file name, we look at this, it says 0700.nc. That's the name of the file. This one's name is test. So these are the computer names for the file. This is the number for the file. So the first file is number one, the last one is six. It would keep growing if we had more. How we pull in a program or send a program is we go into operations. So we have file read, file search, so we can search inside the card. Punch would be to send a program out. So we just want to, we, we ran a program, we want to send it out to the card to keep it for later use. We said punch. It says punch file name, we can name it, uh, file program. I believe if we push execute, it'll grab all that information from the file that already exists and it'll use that information. We can see now that we have seven programs and there's an O0002 in there, which was the program that was in the memory at the time. It's the same program here. Yeah, I push the program button, it brings us back to the program screen. In order to get back to the card, I need to do a right click and then a card, bring us back to the card. Now I want to grab this 0700 program and put it in the control. So I'm going to say operations, file read. So we have our choice here. We can say we want the 0700, so we're going to say, the first question is file number. So the file number, the file number refers to this number, which is the categorization for the card only. So we'll say file set, we'll say one file set. Now it's going to pull this, this one here. Now, we have the choice at this point to assign it a program number. So we could say 55, and that says OSET. Now, when I push execute, it's going to bring this program into the control, and no matter what O number it has on it, it'll set it to 55. So if I execute, it's inputting it, the memory card error. And look at the program. So it took our program, put the 55 on it, and it didn't put the whole program, even though it said there's a memory card error, so I'm not sure why there's a card error. Um, as you can see, once I get the program in and I want to go down to the bottom, I can use page down and it goes quickly. There's also some search functions to look within the program. We'll, we'll explore those in a little bit. Um, so now we have this program in. If this is the program we want, we could run it.